What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. This is ASAS Studio. It's another retouching tutorial. All right, so today we'll be talking about how to create the new frequency separation action, the modern frequency separation action. You all know that this is the new way to do frequency separation. Unlike the last one, you got to duplicate the layer twice and then go to image, apply image, turn everything to linear light using the your Gaussian blur and then using your mixer to brush to blend the all of that those are main different ways of doing the frequency separation and then you select your lazio tool and blow some areas okay okay so but this one is a new way of doing frequency separation which will give you a lot is a lot more easier and give you the perfect result unlike <clears throat> the other ones where you do the frequency separation and then you still have different colors variation on the skin and some places are just to add to remove all right so let's get started the first thing we're going to create the action but the background layer is not locked yet so we need the background layer so go to select the layer go to layer new and then click on background from layer and it's going to turn it into this all right so now let's go first of all you need to create a curve so but before that let's create let's start our action go to windows bring out your actions and then create a group name it modern the uh, modern frequency separation just spell it separation it's okay and now you can see the you can see it here modern frequency separation now click the add button and then action one but i'm going to name it ms modern mo let's name it modern frequency Step. so we're going to be dividing into two just because this is a different way of doing the frequency separation so this is part one of the frequency separation and we're going to do another one action so it's going it's going to be two action so it's okay now it's going to start recording all right so you're going to start recording whatever we do now it's going to record so for the first thing we're going to grab the black and white tool so let's see if that happens okay now under the black and white tool, we're going to adjust just the red down to see the blemishes. Okay, so you can see the blemishes now. Already, it's already recording what we are doing. So I'll bring it down and see it's recording what we are doing. So it's bringing the red down, right? Okay, so we're going to leave it like this. And then you can, let's close it. So now that we've closed it, we're going to stop the action. Because here we need to create, um, select our spot healing tool and then make adjustment that we want to make. So I'm going to stop it right here. And then there we have our first frequency separation. One, the black and white adjustment. Okay. So now we can, you know, adjust every time. I'm just going to quickly adjust this. Just, sorry. Let's unlock the layer and remove and so there we go here we go i'm going to remove so sometimes you are going to see the circle so if you if you come along with if you see the circle just undo and then pick your other tool which is a peeling patch peeling tool and then drag it like that and sometimes I do make just long adjustment, drag it below, and as well as this, drag it below, and just like that. And you can quickly, you know, make things, bring it down. So it just make the workflow easier. You can see how I'm being do I'm doing this faster. Okay, so just locate those places. I think I'm done. I'm just trying to be fast with what I'm doing. Okay, let's check the top. All right, so right now I just finished doing the adjustment. So if I turn this off, you can see. Let me quickly bring the image, other image back. 
So I just brought the other image back and you can see before and after. Okay, I think before, I think I need to bring this down to, all right. So before and after. All right, so now once you've done this, which is the first one, uh, let's get rid of this black and white now. So we're gonna record another one. So let's go ahead and select this one and name it modern FRQ S E P R A T I N two. So this is the part two, and now this is going to be used for color correction. So just hit record. All right. So now it's recording. So I'm, now, now I'm gonna grab the hue and saturation for this. Now there is no um, much variation in the skin tones, but whenever you have variation, just pick on the and two and then select where. I'm gonna just try and focus it on this side. So it's going to select this you, you see we select and you can mess around and once you increase the you either backwards or forward you're going to see the difference in color you can see the air most part of the hair is green some part of our body blue and some are white so we're going to focus the color on the part of our body except the lips okay so somewhere like this all right so now this is what we're going to be doing after doing it like this you're going to use this one make it zero and then you can change let's take it backwards to make it look like if we take it forward it's going to make make it look so yellow so i'm going to just want to bring out the red skin few okay and we could also bring back check the lightness so it's just an adjustment so i'm going to leave it at plus one and increase the saturation a bit okay so we can see and turn it before so now we have that okay so i'm going to close it and then i'm going to stop it which is the second part of the frequency separation of and on so you won't see the changes but you will see the change on some of um, the images so after doing that this is the second part and we've stopped it okay so i'm just going to make a little bit adjustment before going to the third one so the last one we're going to be doing is the real frequency separation and for us to do that we're going to add another one let's create make this stand visible layer first okay so now after creating the stand visible layer i'm going to make this the background now i'm going to get rid of this one hold on shift and let me remove this and delete yeah so let's select this one and make it the background layer so image layer go to layer new from background and it's now going to make it background layer all right so now let's go making it the background layer first of all mm. then the next one is to create the frequency separation frequency separation and it record okay modern frequency separation sorry let's use the modern frequency separation and this is the last part so it's going to be three and hit enter so follow up on this last one so you're going to make a duplication of this one twice okay so let's duplicate this twice by hitting ctrl j twice one two and now i'm going to leave it i'm going to turn off this layer select this one just follow the step and then go to filter blur Gaussian blur and i'm going to blow it to some amount let's leave it at this and it okay let's take it back a little and it's okay now once you do that you're going to hit this checkbox it's going to check it and once you do that you can duplicate the layer again so duplicate this ctrl j so this is not part of the last frequency separation but it is part of this new frequency separation because you want to blend this and uh, this adjustment of the blur the adjustment you do when mixing the color you want to blend it with the original now once you do that select this one up one turn it on go to image apply image and then select layer 2 which is the one below 
sorry layer 3 which is the one below and then you're going to go ahead choose subtract as your blending option subtract make sure scale 2 of set 128 8bit this for 8bit it's okay and now change the blend mode to linear light and once you've done that you're good to go select the clone stamp tool and select the background 3 and then select the mixer to brush okay now stop your action so we have action 3 ready action 1 action 2 action 3 okay so now we can start you know blending our image so this is how to create the frequency separation modem frequency separation action all right so thank you guys for watching i'm going to quickly adjust this and i'm going to show you the before and after for you to now to use, use this just check the channel you're going to see the video on how to do the modem frequency separation and i don't want to make the video too long i want to focus it more on how to create the action so thank you guys for watching i'm just going to quickly edit this and i'm going to show you the final image so all right guys so i'm done with the frequency separation i'm going to group it together and show you the before and after for it so before and after i'm going to zoom in for you before and then the after okay so not a lot of um you won't see it the photo is too bright so now why we created this third one instead of this first one you can see this is the one we affected we didn't affect this one is to create realness to bring it look make it look natural so you can decrease the opacity of this as you decrease it it becomes so real so you bring out more of the highlights and the shadows so it's not like error with can see the difference so bringing it up and bringing it down just creates realism to the image all right so that's why we do the last one okay so thank you guys for watching see you in the next video once again thank you